Welcome back to The Dad Guy. It's February 3rd, 2023, and the cold weather continues. If you've been uh, watching it lately, uh, we had minus 27 earlier this week uh, in the mornings. And uh, today, later on, as uh, the winds pick up, right now it is minus 17, feels like minus 31 with the wind chill. Tonight, it's going to go down to minus 29, feels like minus 45 with the wind chill. Uh, so the little snow that's coming down now is blowing around, uh, making kind of the roads a little messy. And so these are the good days to stay inside because at minus 45, you go outside and uh, within a few minutes, any exposed skin is going to have frostbite on it. So uh, we're going to stay away from uh, being outside for any length of time for sure. Tomorrow will continue to be cold in the morning. And then uh, as the evening comes, it's going to get back to a more normal temperature and uh, even next week I think we have plus four or plus five one of the days so uh, it's cold right now but we'll get out of the snap all right enough about the weather that's not why you tuned in for a post crossing this is all the mail that I received this week I got a good chunk of, uh, of uh, official cards and we're gonna start with those all right the first one I have is this one here of Torino in Italy and uh, this comes from Darius and, uh, he said it because he lives in Torino in the north. What I think of Torino, I think of the Olympics. This doesn't look very Olympic-like, but uh, it is very cool. And there are the train stamps that he's put on. I haven't seen those stamps before from Italy. So thank you, Darius, for that. The next card I have comes from Russia. It's a nice scene of uh, a moose or a caribou or something in the wild. It's also nice. You can see the parents. And the child is here watching it. Uh, there's no gun. They're not hunting. They're just uh, taking in nature. And uh, this comes from Maria. And uh, she lives on the sea. And she said she's also included all these stamps. So here's the traditional ones you would normally see. But then all these stamps here, she's put these on for my father. Um, so I hope one day I'll be able to get over there to show him these stamps as well. All right, moving on. This one comes from Poland. We've got a postcard that's covered in stamps. It's not literally covered. This is actually an image of it. And uh, he says this comes from Anatoly. And he lives in Krakow with his wife and cats. 31 years old and works in an IT company. He says uh, Lego is an interesting hobby. And he says he watches lots of people putting in uh, interesting models together of Lego on YouTube. There's a Polish stamp. The next one came in an envelope and it comes from France. So there are the stamps. And this is the postcard. And without being a spoiler alert, I think this might be my favorite postcard that's come this week and maybe for a while. Um, you know how much I like mailboxes and to have a flamingo mailbox, really cool. Um, kind of makes me smile every time I see it. So, uh, not a spoiler, all the other postcards are great, but this one really sticks out this week. So this comes from Bridget. Um, she writes to me in French, and she says she's a retired nurse's aide, and um, married four kids and three great-grandkids, or grandkids, not great-grandkids. And she lives five kilometers from the water, and even owns a fishing boat. So, and we have another stamp there on the card. So thank you, Bridget, for that. And Bridget also included something else in the envelope, but I'll show you that on a later video. So I'll put that one aside. This next one comes from Germany. And uh, he says he's a student. He lives with his family. And uh, favorite subject is biology. And hobbies are politics, climbing, reading, and building Lego. So another Lego person. This comes from Samuel. There's the stamp. So thank you, Samuel, for that. And I uh, hope you have some good building things all right the next card i have is a maxi card this one comes from sri lanka so there's the stamp and there's the image and uh even put stamps on this side too and it says may you be blessed with uh, a long life greetings from sri lanka name is ravine and from the northwestern province of govinda and uh, the British called it Westminster Abbey. 
its 555 meters tall rock mountain, which was used as an observatory since the 6th century. So thank you, Ravine, for this maxi card. All right, that's all I have for officials. Let's get into some of the friend mail. And uh, this first one is kind of a, uh, a mystery. So we have this card, it comes from South Korea. And it says, Dear friends, greetings from uh, Sejon City, the future planned capital of Korea. Several functions of parliament overlap uh, will be moved here in 2027. And it says, uh, Best wishes from Sakwan Allison. Now, I don't know this person. At least I don't think I know this person. It doesn't come across. There's no. Um, post-crossing ID on it. So I'm assuming it's someone who has just um, got my address from YouTube and has sent me a message. And I really like it. I like the historical information. I like the card. So thank you so much. And if you're watching this video, please leave me a comment and uh, identify yourself so I know exactly who it came from. All right, moving on. This one comes from uh, Media in Finland. Got a cool cruise ship. Nice extra long postcard here. And uh, I'll show you the stamps. Media has sent a few things this week, or they've all come, showed up this week. Maybe they were they're caught in the, the mail somewhere along the way. This one is also from her, but it was while she was in Estonia. So there's some Estonian stamps from Talon. And the card she has in this one, you have this cool jazz card. All the instruments and the funky outfits. And then we have another ship, another ferry crossing or a cruise ship. So that showed up as well. And she wasn't done. Those were dated January 14th. Uh, this one was dated January 22nd. This one, I really like this, these bunnies, this finish stamp. Cute envelope too. And in it, we have this one, January 17th, it was sent. So we get some Lego toast and jam and strawberries. Really like that. This one here, we have the Olympic Stadium in Helsinki. Imagine being one of those people. Be cool to be there to see the games. And then finally, another surprise showed up. This first day cover. So you have the new stamp, you've got the cancellations, you've got the matching envelope. Unfortunately, uh, I had to cut into it. There was something inside. We have a ice skating polar bear. That was sent January 18th. So lots of cards all showing all up at the exact same time from overlapping weeks. So thank you, Media, for all the wonderful mail. My next card comes from Julianne in Germany. We have a Northern Lights card. And some facts about the Northern Lights, the Aurora Borealis. She says she's fascinated by the Northern Lights. Have you ever seen any? So, haven't, I haven't seen them. I know sometimes there's a Northern Lights stamp. Sometimes you can see them in uh, Northern New Brunswick. They pass by, uh, but I haven't had the opportunity where you can see them the most is as if you get up into northern Alberta, places like that, uh, or Yukon, Northwest Territories. Go to places where there are not as many street lights and uh, things to get in the way, and then you can see them a lot better here in Canada. All right. My next one, this is a funny one. This comes from Jessica in the States. And so you can see this uh, hammerhead shark has found these swim trunks. And he says, check out this cool mask I found. And the dolphin says, those are shorts. And then he says, uh, no, they're not. Look, it's a mask. For the hammerhead sharks, eyes are on the hand. Yeah, you know that. Anyways, I don't have to explain the joke. I thought it was funny. There are the stamps. So thank you, Jessica. I appreciate that. Um, she said, I'm also so glad you tried my recipe since uh, she didn't have anyone else to pass it on. So there was a really cool... Uh, recipe that I tried at Christmas time. She was saying she make was making it and uh, I thought I like the recipe. I'd like to try that. So I did. It was kind of a pastry thing with a, a chocolate filling in it, a, a Polish dessert. So it was very good. Thank you very much, Jessica. 
All right, this next one is an Iron Maiden maxi card. It comes from our friend Jilly B of Jilly B Living Your Life Her Way. Go check out her channel if you haven't already. Make sure you subscribe. There is the I Stand With Ukraine sticker. And uh, she's got washi tape. She's got drums all themed for rock and roll. And so this is Iron Maiden in Rio de Janeiro in 2001 thing I really liked about this set of stamps that just came out in the UK is they had one for Vancouver. So it was nice to see that Canada was represented for uh, Iron Maiden. Okay, this next one is another mailbox card. A row of mailboxes, maybe in an apartment or maybe just in a small community. All identified that way. This comes from Anita in Austria. And it says... Uh, well, I won't say what it says. He's just chit-chatting to me. There's the Austrian stamps. But what's really cool is this stamp here is a Lego stamp. You can see the Lego minifigure there with the Lego mail. So not only was it a mailbox card, it also had a Lego stamp that I've never seen before. So thank you so much, Anita, for that. Uh, this stamp is pretty cool, too. I won't deny that one. The monster eating uh, the earth. There's something uh, to be said about that. And probably what it means we can take all different sorts of images on what that probably means and there's probably a whole write-up about it from the post office when it was issued but i really like the lego stamp okay moving on this is the panama canal and our friend renee lewis who also has a channel on youtube renee lewis you gotta go check her out uh went through the panama canal with her son over the uh, christmas new year's break and uh, so she sent a card which i really appreciate i've been watching there's a guy called Mike Downey. Uh, he does a YouTube channel called Downey Live, and he does all sorts of adventures. He's originally from Vancouver, and uh, he's been doing things on trains, which I really got me into. I wanted to see him go across Canada in trains, and he went across the U.S. Actually went different trains all the way from um, the tip of Florida, the southernmost point in the U.S., to uh, Alaska, to the northernmost uh, railway stop. But one of the other things he did was take a longboat through Wales and some of the... Uh, canals in England and so he went through different locks and things I thought was fascinating so to have this come up with different locks really put it in perspective I kind of knew what was going on so I appreciate that Renee that's the long-winded story of my <laughs> adventures with locks lately now Renee wasn't done she sent this envelope with this unicorn washi tape all across the back and inside we have a unicorn card that she made with all sorts of sparkles on it and inside she included all these unicorn stickers that i can use they're uh, poppy ones they're really cool so thank you renee and uh, we're part of the unicorn club i guess so jilly b and renee and myself and that's kind of fun to have this and i really appreciate the card I also saw Jilly got a card similar to this too, so it was nice to be able to see it. All right, the next thing I have comes from Erin in Colorado. She sent this envelope, and there's the stamps. And inside the envelope, she sent me a letter that uh, told me how she found my uh, YouTube channel and interests and things. She also sent some blank cards that I can send out. So here are some flowers in jars. Here's a very nice crescent moon. This looks like it was taken from space. And this one here, Emily Dickinson. We have this, and inside all the wings, and that are all different writings by Emily Dickinson. She also included something else in the envelope, but like the other envelope I have, I will save that till a later date those of you who know uh, I do more than just post crossing videos there is other hobbies that I like to show off and so they're in that too and then the last envelope I got came from Hugh in Ireland and there's the stamp and inside we have more things to show in the later video so I'm going to take uh, these three envelopes and turn it into probably one or two videos um, for those of you who enjoy stamps, you can tune into that next week. 
And that is it for my mail. That is a lot of mail. I really appreciate that. Um, we had a few days this week where I wasn't sure how much mail I was going to get. And uh, I'm really happy that things have been going to my P.O. box. So mail is getting through a lot quicker. So uh, days when they maybe can't deliver to uh, my mailbox here, I know that my official stuff is all being sent and uh, received at my P.O. box. So that's fantastic. All right. Tomorrow is That Dad Guy Answers um, Week 52. And so I said last week that there's going to be a slight change to it. I still want you guys to ask me questions and I will answer them tomorrow. So make sure you get into uh, episode 51 or part 51 and leave your questions there. So I have those to answer for you tomorrow. But tomorrow I'm going to start by asking you guys a question. And uh, that question, I will have you write uh, like question one on a postcard and uh, give me your response to it. So at the end of the month... I can read all the cards that I get. So that means it gives you some time to answer that question. I'll remind you on each Saturday about the question so it can get sent out. And then uh, when I have all the responses in, I'll read them out. And it'll be kind of a nice way for our community to start getting to know different places around the world and different things about those places or those people that are watching. And uh, each month I'll do that. I'll ask a new question and I'll get you to put on it uh, the, uh, the question number so I know which answer it's going for. And that way, too, if a card should take longer to get back to me, and maybe I'm already on question two or three or 14, uh, if it has a one or a six on the top, I know what answer it's going to which question. So that's how we're going to keep track of it. Um, I will explain more again tomorrow, but that's kind of the, uh, the synopsis of what we're going to do. And uh, we'll talk about postcards and uh, all sorts of fun things. But leave me a question so I have something to answer tomorrow for you. And uh, we'll go from there. Other than that, that's all I've got for right now. Um, I'm going to go probably find a snack, get this thing edited up to you, and uh, hope you guys have a magical week. Like, follow? You say like, subscribe, share, and tell all your friends. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Bye.